You are tuned in to the hippest radio station in the Tri-City area, WAWL 103.5. This is Walk the Beat, the program dedicated to bringing you the latest in musical talent from our very own West Michigan area. I'm Dave Palmer, your host of Walk the Beat, and today we are at Third Coast Music Recording with Channing and Quinn. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Saturday. Yes. yes Saturday a.m. A.m. <laughs> and I always love Saturdays because I get to meet people, <laughs> especially musicians. Oh, you nice. know, the, the the kind people of the world. Yeah, and, and aren't we? Saying. We are. You are. You <laughs> too. Everyone I, else is mean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, you met them. <laughs> you met them. You know, I uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to see you at the Watermark. Oh, oh, good. Man. Oh, my goodness. You guys are fantastic. Well, thank you. That was a fantastic event. And yeah. Yeah, we loved being a part of it. Jack Clark. That yeah. guy. And Mary. Yeah. And Mary Ann. Yep. Yeah, they I haven't seen them in together. forever. I'll have yeah. to tell them next time I see yeah. them. <laughs> they're right behind <laughs> us. Yeah, they're very good guys. They, they, in fact, both of them, they are a big, big part of the uh, Red House Concert Series, which we're hoping to be able to... Uh, work with them closer to hire more people like you. Absolutely. Because you guys are fantastic. Man. I would so, call our, we're veterans of the Red House uh, yeah, yeah. scene. Yeah, you know, it's, it's amazing how, how uh, the connection, the solid connection you can make with somebody if you're working through music or with music, such as Jack and Marianne, you know, kind-hearted. And they just help spread the word with people like you absolutely so thanks yeah. for coming on no, in. thanks for having us yeah now um you were down in no where are you from originally we better ask this well that's the hardest question What's, ever yeah. to answer <laughs> uh, well, then, we, uh, we spent the last 10 years in nashville mm-hmm. uh tennessee and uh before that we were in north carolina that's where we met um but I'm from the West Coast in Oregon, and nice. yeah, Quinn is I'm, from... I'm from North Carolina, so we met, and our originating music and everything uh, started in North Carolina, and then to Nashville after that. So. How long were you together before you got to Nashville? Um, not not that long. About we a were, year, yeah. I guess, maybe. Yeah. 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 yeah, we tested the waters. You don't look old enough to be in Nashville for 10 years. <laughs> I and then be well, here. thank you. We'll I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> well, Especially we were, on a Saturday morning. We were, four, <laughs> <laughs> we were four years old when we moved. So yeah. Very yeah. nice, too. very yeah. nice. Oh, it was, it was a distribution thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Send the kids to Nashville. Yeah. Yeah, see what they can do. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, now, now you've moved to Grand Rapids. Right. That's right. And yeah. uh, have really been hitting the music scene uh, like crazy. Well, you know, it's it's kind of refreshing coming to Michigan and Grand Rapids after being in Nashville. Um, I don't know. It, there's so much music in that town down there that uh, I feel like a lot of times it's taken for granted, and I don't feel like that is the case up here. So right. it's nice. it's nice to come up here and, you know, really have a different scene and, um, you know, a fresh kind of perspective on it and people really do appreciate music. they do and you can tell and we definitely appreciate that <laughs> yeah yeah i mean there is nothing um uh, musicians you know we've all got our little thing going on but it's 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 nice when people are listening yes yeah and instead of being you know intoxicated or <laughs> right. whatever exactly. you know yeah. they're having a party on the other end and you just happen to be Incidentally, right. having to be there. We've spent many years of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and is, did you? And you thought you think that is kind of the main difference here between Nashville and uh, Michigan? I do. Yeah, I definitely do. I I think the appreciation of music. I think that there are you know people who are you know trying to go out and listen to music, right. and you know it's also. I don't. I think there's a community of musicians up here that is very close knit and supportive. Yeah. Whereas in you know in Nashville, it's a little bit more cutthroat. It's and competitive. It yeah. is. It's competitive, Correct. and you sort of have to find your your niche so that you know you can shine. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and the, th- right. the thing about Nashville too is that in, in, it's a music business town. I mean, the, the musicians are there, the the record companies, the studios, the label, you know, everything's down there and that's its central spot. Doesn't mean that's where you make your living as a musician, you know. So you live I, there, you got the mailing address and you and you record there, but you make money by playing shows. Sure. <laughs> so you can't sure. really do that in Nashville. You're, what are you playing shows for your producer and for yeah, your yeah. studio, your ra- engineer? <laughs> They're all, and, you all know, playing yeah. or listening to their guys. Yeah. Or already, play yeah. for the guys that just moved to town that want to do it also. You know, so sure. you tour. So we spent 
10 years in Nashville, but for the past five, we were hardly there. I mean, we, right. we were on the road and you, you know, and that's a very central area. You can be in Atlanta, you can be in St. Louis, you can be in Louisville, sure. you know, all right. in a radius. Circle around So it. we would just yeah. go out, come home, go out, come home and everything. So nice. it's also been another refreshing thing to be up here where the music community is supportive and it's all right here, you know, okay. in Western Michigan, also nice. we'll go to East side of the state and that kind of thing. So it's right. been We've had more, you know, stuff going on music wise with less travel, you know, Correct. So nice win win nice. on our, that's end, the way we, yeah. and it's a win win for everybody that's listening. <laughs> oh, good. So nice to be able to have all these musicians and there are a ton of, there us. are a ton and I love it. Yeah. Um, I'm including myself because I did two shows yesterday. Um, I like big that. Time. Definitely. I like big it. stuff for me, I man. I like it. I like big it. Big stuff for me. Now, you were talking about touring, and you guys have done some unique things, and uh, I want to share that, too. Oh, yeah. uh, so I'm going to ask you a question before we get to the first, oh, before we get to the first uh, uh, song here. Your Amtrak tour. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> you got to give us some type of a description of this All and right. what you actually did. Well, we decided that it would be a very <laughs> <laughs> a very romantic, you know, interesting, unique idea, you know, to travel and do this tour solely by public transportation. So we took <laughs> Amtrak it. all the way up and down the East Coast, um, you know, which was amazing we carried all you. of our instruments on our back you know packed clothing around the instruments yeah, in the cases take, take two carry on buses so. <laughs> and you know to our shows it was like such a cool idea it was literally the hardest thing yeah. we've ever done oh, really? i mean it we were like beaten by the end of it <laughs> we had like walked i feel like probably you know 20 miles yeah. a day trying oh, to get you know uh, carrying all of our stuff yeah but, and we you know certain cities you'd stop you know if you're in manhattan you stop you can catch a cab you can take the subway or anything there's right. plenty of places so if you're in like uh charlotte you know or atlanta Some or small, some, yeah. you know they're not the or most, smaller towns yeah, too. yeah but not the the biggest setup public transportation wise everybody down there drives so it's right, like we're like right. walking on the side of the highway trying to catch a cab we're like <laughs> we're like we're probably gonna get shot we're like, <laughs> we're, like we're, yeah, we're trying to get shot we're like where's where's the bus station they're like no one takes the bus here <laughs> yeah, bus don't get do on that one, don't get on the bus so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't get on the bus i actually when i was like 16 had to take a bus ride from here to st louis missouri oh, nice. <laughs> wow. it's a scary yeah, ride at ex- times yeah it's, you definitely there. meet some characters yeah you'll be absolutely <laughs> Absolutely, all by yourself. And next stop, it's packed. Yeah, yeah, and with yeah, people that don't have cars. And, <laughs> yep. and yeah, exactly. but it was a great experience. Yeah. But I'm uh, so yeah. it, you got h- how many places did you get to play on something like so, that? You know, I think how many stops did we, we did, do? We did. It was so one cool thing about it, and, and another reason why we set it up is Amtrak does these rail passes, and it's for a lot of times it's for. People come from out of the country that, you know, a lot of other countries have great railroad transportation. So they come here and they're used to that. So they can get these passes where instead of purchasing a ticket in each town you are, wherever Amtrak is, you just show your little ID. Right. You can hop on and off wherever you are. Wow. So that, we were like, why don't we grab that? Why don't we plan a tour? So we did it like as if we were going to drive, you know, let's yes. play here, let's play here, we book the shows and everything. But we booked it in a way where we knew Amtrak stopped. Sure. So we bought these rail passes. So uh, that one lasted two weeks. I think, you know, 14 days, we probably played 12, 13 shows or something yeah. like that and went, started in Atlanta, left our car there and hopped on and went through all the way up to, I think, Boston. Far, yeah, Boston was far as up and then. Back, back down, down to a couple other cities kind of thing. <laughs> so yeah and it was you know when we we filmed the whole thing we did it twice oh, actually yeah did you so wow. we yeah. did it first in uh 08 i think was that when it was or 10 maybe yeah and um and the whole deal was just like let's come up with a creative way to tour and try to gain some attention we were just fresh off like writing music and trying to get known and traveling and you know how do we get our name out there so it was like we thought it was a creative way you know something fun for us but a creative way of maybe getting some attention excellent so yeah and then we ended up doing it a couple years later the second one but it's all uh filmed and and documented and uh on our website right and, uh, yeah, yeah in fact right now is a good time to ask how do we get a hold of you because we're about to play you for oh, oh, the first yeah. of three songs yeah how do we get a hold of you um probably our website's the easiest way just channingandquin.com 
Um, but then, you know, we have all the social media and Facebook sure. and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff too. But yeah, all of our, all of our shows are, their schedule of events is up there. Yeah. You got some nice, you got some nice samples of your music exactly. on yeah, there and I'm yeah. sure some great photos. Yep, and do you absolutely. have your, you got the video of your tour on there? Yep. Yep. We excellent. Do. Excellent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I love it. I love your creativity <laughs> and both of your smiles. Really. Oh, well, thank you. Hey, Blue, uh, I think everybody needs to listen to a song by now. I've done a lot of talking here. Let's go to, uh, the first song of the three by uh, Channing and Quinn, it's called Fall. Listening to WAWL 103.5. We are back in the studio with Channing and Quinn. That song was Fall. Yes, it was. Sounded right. great. Sounded great. <laughs> While it was uh, playing, we were talking a bit about country background. Mm-hmm. What is your background in music? I guess you both have separate ones, but they well, seem right. to combine really nice. It's kind of it's interesting. My real background in music is musical theater, which mm. is, uh, I feel like that sort of influences a lot of my writing um and the storytelling aspect right. of it uh that's sort of what i grew up listening to my, my family was very into theater and nice um but yeah i i listened to all kinds of music growing up and quinn yeah yeah all sorts of stuff also we met uh doing theater so we both got into that oh. and i was working in theater also and so that kind of always has a little special part in our heart and, and goes into the writing and the performing is sort of the theatrical part. But then also, uh, so where I lived for a while in uh, Western North Carolina is, uh, of course, bluegrass, but uh, Doc Watson was my hero. Yeah. Um, that style is what I dreamed of possibly coming halfway close to. You right. Know? So that and, um, you know, then I got into bands and played, you know, grunge and rock and roll and stuff like that. And then just when I met Channing, we just sort of teamed up and decided, I mean, the, the focus was to write music. I don't, I, neither of us had really, you know, she'd been performing on stage, musical theater, and then I'm playing in these bands and we're, you know, covering Nirvana songs or something, you know, sure. and playing around. And so we got together and we're like, what if we try to create yeah, something? Yeah, and it's, right. it's interesting. We never really tried to write for a genre and we still don't really know what genre we fit into. But, <laughs> right. but yeah, we just, we just wrote what we wanted to hear and play. So Beautiful. That's yeah. the best kind of music. Right? <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, <clears throat> speaking of not knowing what 
type of music you right. wanted to play. You guys won the 2015 Art Prize category for folk and country. We did. Right. And we then sure you did. and then you followed it up by telling me, but we don't think it's folk or country. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. it's the weirdest song ever. It's a song <laughs> yeah. about a, a girl stalker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the stalker <laughs> yeah. song. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, absolutely. really? Is yep. that is that about you stalking him? It, yeah. Actually, it's the other <laughs> way around. Exactly no. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. no. <laughs> I see you brought your probation officers. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's how we met. So yeah, kind of keep an yeah. eye on us. But that was that was great. I mean, that was when we first moved uh, to town, and of course knew about Art Prize. We've been coming up here, and um, yeah, to, to have a music portion of that, and we got to play. And, how wonderful! Yeah, yeah and they do all the stuff there. It's really cool how they do the performance on the streets, the busking, as they yes. call it. But it's not like you're playing for money; you're playing for votes for your song. Right. You know? So you go into the corner of a random street, start playing. You get a crowd around you, say vote for our song. It was a, it was yeah. a blast. It yeah. Was really Nice. Really cool. Nice. Music. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Art Prize has definitely brought a lot of attention to Grand Rapids. Sure. To right. Hall of Michigan. Yeah. Absolutely. To Hall of Michigan. Right. Absolutely. It's huge. Yeah. It's huge. Absolutely. And the, from winning that is how we were able to record our yeah. uh, next album, which That's is coming, coming out, out yeah. in nice, April. Nice. So, yeah, and we got recording time. and is, is that what you won, recording time? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. I like that yeah. thing. Yeah. So, uh, uh, who did who did the recording? Michael Crittenden. Yeah, okay. and, Mackinac and, Harvest uh, Studios in Grand Rapids. Nice, um, nice. And we'd known about him and met here and there at some shows and stuff, but had, I had not worked with him and had uh, a blast. It was He's got a great studio there in Grand Rapids. Treated you well? Yeah, did. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Good. We worked well, just the three of us. That's what we love about the studio we don't hire musicians and try to turn it into something it's not which the right. two of us go in and want to work with a producer to get their input on it and then let's just see what we come up with uh throughout the next couple of days you still and want an honest version so that right. you can play this when you go out exactly, exactly. Yeah. it doesn't sound yeah. like a yeah, totally we, different that's what bill chrysler we work with bill chrysler yeah. here of course this is his studio and absolutely he says you want to make it the best you can, but they should be able to perform whatever they're doing. Yeah, right. You know, exactly. And it's tempting. It's tempting yes. to go Cause overboard because there's so many toys. Yeah. And like, <laughs> and there, there's so much stuff that these guys can yeah. do to right. it. Right. Exactly. They can morph it into anything. Yeah. But, right. uh, but it's sometimes. amazing how simple, you know, and uh, if you listen to a lot of music from over the years and back in the 50s and 60s, <clears throat> right. the, the simple way of just clapping or snapping that instead Correct. of adding a full drum kit or yep. stuff like yep. that, you know, that got lost in the digital world. So if you kind of take it, take everything out and go back to that kind of stuff, you have to, you do got it. the sound. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's fine. We were just discussing and blue and I were just having that discussion this morning about how music to so much of it is so good is actually not very complicated. <laughs> right. yeah, People totally, want to totally. hear some simple stuff that right. they can that they can decode in their head. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes yeah. the the most dramatic moments are the space in between the notes right. that right. you know sometimes are overlooked. I think. So. Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, that's one of my problems playing guitar. <laughs> you never want to shut <laughs> up. Yeah. You know, fill it, <laughs> in. fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. Yeah. Now we still. So you did your Amtrak tour twice. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was yeah. a yeah. big hit. So we doubled it up. <laughs> that's right. And then yeah. you decided, well we'll just have our own uh, cab to be in. <laughs> right. So yeah. you did an Airstream tour we also. Did. And we yeah. lived in an Airstream. We lived in that thing for seven months. Wow. Yeah. Nice. We, I yeah, mean, we went country. all over the country. I mean, there were moments in that too, going down like the, Highway and yeah, in, in yeah, 101, 101 or whatever, and Pacific Oregon and yeah. California. I mean, you're like on the edge of the cliff and it's foggy and it's nighttime. And you're like, this yeah. is it. This is, this is how we're yeah. going to go. Oh, yeah. You know, I bicycled from, oh, wow. from Canada to Mexico Jeez. with my business wow. partner. That's and amazing. that's the same thing I said. I go, look. We're yeah. in the road would be kind of even washed out. I go look, we're we're six yeah, inches from it. falling, yeah, yeah. one hundred and fifty foot to rocks. Right. Yeah, it's amazing yeah. that it's, this road is like that. Oh, yeah. I know, I know. And, and, you know, and a, another thing that was like sounded amazing, and it was amazing. Yeah. Hard work again. <laughs> you yeah. know, like the same thing with the train. So this. Oh is, right, right. You know, of course, uh, we're you know being an independent musician. It's just us. It's not like we have a road crew or anything. Sure. So it's like <laughs> I was driving. You know, white <laughs> yeah. knuckles. You know, right, pulling right. this train. We played in in Manhattan. We played at, you know in these big oh, cities. Right. I got a trailer you pull behind that in me. There. I you couldn't gotta park imagine it. in New oh, York. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah, you gotta park it where you want to park and, and <laughs> undo it and, and get to your show or blah 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 right, that kind right, of thing. Right. And so like, and it was amazing. Like I'll never. Yeah, we stayed in it, campgrounds but, all over the country. Yeah, and, you nice. Know, you know, That's beautiful. Did you play at them too at those campgrounds? You Sometimes. Ever post yeah. Up? I mean, well, we rode a lot. I think. I yeah. feel like oh, we. Right, right. Yeah. We. Yeah. I mean, it was around campfires and stuff like. 
yeah. that. And you I mean, two just have a chem. I just got. You guys have this chemistry between you that is is beautiful. Oh, and I love you. it. I can yeah. see why you can write music together. You enjoy your day. I can see yeah. that. Yeah. Hey. So it's a hassle. Let's yeah. just do this you and get it over it. with and yeah. back on to something better yeah. this afternoon. You know, yeah. I love it. Uh, um, so yeah. let me goal. let me get. Yeah. Uh, so how many shows? Did, I'll ask you one thing. Well, how many shows did you think you played on that? Oh Lord, that's God, tough. In that in that I amount mean, of time, yeah, I, I don't could, know. Yeah. hundred. Uh, one cool thing that again on our website that we were talking about is I we videoed some stuff there, but I also did like a map so it like chronicles everywhere we played. So it's kind of right, cool to look nice. at the map of the country and show the little dots right everywhere it is. But so. So, you know, I've never actually counted uh, how many dots are on there, but it yeah. was, and that was our first, you know, being based in Nashville, we did a lot of Midwest and then being from the East coast, we did a, always did a lot of East coast, but that was our first, you know, national tour, West coast and, and out there. So uh, that was our taste of, um, everywhere, you know, North Dakota or where, you know, uh, nice. all over the place, <laughs> you know? So yeah, it was a blast. Excellent. Yeah. So uh, we're going to start another song here. It's it. called slow burn. Yes. Yeah. You going to give me any information yeah. or any of some information sure. on this? You know, this is, uh, this is actually a very personal song for us. I feel like it's more, uh, autobiographical than some of our other stuff. And it's, uh, you know, Quinn and I have been, playing music together for a long time and together for a long time, but it took us 10 years to actually get married. Oh, and you're married. We're married. All yeah. Right, all yeah. Right. Um, we've been married for a couple of years now, but, uh, it's sort of, it's sort of a song about how things can take time and it is a mm. slow burn and instead of rushing everything, right. maybe make the most of the time that you have and enjoy, you know, I love your things attitude. Out. I yeah. love your attitude in blue <laughs> with that. Let's listen to Channing and Quinn sing and perform slow burn. <laughs> Never know how long we have before the sand runs out Time can be a sneaky thing It settles for a whisper when we would have it shout Oh, 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 oh. So let's go sit under that tree you won't sleep and I won't read and we'll remember what it's like to be alone, just you and me. Cause that's how we began and that's how we'll go out eventually. And it's a slow burn. It's a slow From Blue Ridge Mountains to somewhere in Tennessee We'll take the long way around the country till there's nothing left to see We don't know yet where we're meant to be But anyone who knows us knows it's always been just you and me And it's a slow It's a slow burn So take your time now This is worth remembering And it's a slow
You are listening to WAWL 103.5. This is Walk the Beat. We, For those of you just tuning in, we are talking with Channing and Quinn, a husband and wife musical team that just rock. Man. Oh, it's been, and uh, for those of you that you can't see, they are wearing big smiles all the time. And I think they're living large and just enjoying themselves. That's, we, we try. That's the way to do it. Yeah. 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 yeah one life, you know. Even when you're living small, you're still enjoying yeah, it. Right. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. Every now and then, I'm sure the. Yeah, it's the, tough. the sandwich was split in half, yeah. you know. <laughs> That's the yeah. excellent yeah. way of putting it. Yeah, that. right. You know, uh, and, uh, yeah, the quarter. We can save hey, hey, yeah. a quarter for tomorrow. Too. Yeah, right. We <laughs> got tomorrow. But if we do that yeah. gig tonight, we'll got it. Right. You know, yeah. I love it. I love it. So let me ask you a question. You know, you've, you've done uh, several tours and you booked them yourself? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So how did you go finding these places? How do you, well, especially for Amtrak, you're going to mm-hmm. a specific location. Right. And then you scour around or how yeah. have you done Well, that's that? another full-time job. I mean, yeah. being a musician means like literally having, you know, five or six different jobs when you're independent and totally doing everything yourself. Yeah. I mean, Quinn has become an expert, you know, at managing basically and booking and yeah I just I, I became uh, you know when we were in Nashville we would play at a place every Saturday night and we had kind of a, a weekly gig and we were like this is awesome you know we have yeah. a weekly gig that we're doing here yep and then uh, and we did that for like a couple months and it got you know the place closed I can't remember exactly that we stopped that right so yeah. all of a sudden on Saturday nights I'm like man we, we were always playing and everything so I got to start like let's find something else yeah and so the first goal was like why don't I find something 30 miles outside of Nashville why don't I find something 45 miles outside of Nashville and right. like let's do this little like circuit on Fridays and Saturdays and we were still working our jobs in Nashville and everything so to pay the rent and we would go out on Fridays and Saturdays and then it became like hey we got something going on here what let's go up to Kentucky let's go over to North Carolina <laughs> you know it just kept expanding expanding and I would just get a hold of club and say hey we played at this place last weekend would you like to have us this place this weekend and then also, on the other side of things is in Nashville, of course, there's a million musicians and we're right. out hanging out there one. So it's like someone would go on the road and we'd say, can we hop on with you and open up for a couple shows, that kind of thing. So right. we just started, you know, in that market down there playing over and over again and getting and going. Building and those relationships with venues and, sure. you know, if have they like you, they'll have you back. So right, they'll right. turn you on to the next, you know, they'll tell the bookers at the other clubs, you know, hey, you right. get these guys there. So it just kept building and building. And next thing you knew. We were playing on Wednesday nights and Thursday nights. And so finally, and we weren't like <laughs> making a lot of money. We made right. about as much in gas, you know, to sure. pay the gas to get to the You're next You're trying place. to get the word out. Yeah. Right. And it was like, <laughs> why are we going back to Nashville and working and making <laughs> hardly any money? Let's just keep trying to make enough to pay for the gas to get to the next place. So That's we right. just kind of quit our jobs and, and started just doing that <laughs> all the time. Anyone that takes us in, play every night of the week, you know. <clears throat> nice, nice. Yeah. How wonderful. And somehow you came across Jack and Mary. Yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah. That, yeah. Tell me that story. Well, that <clears throat> I mean, we met Marianne when we first were coming up to Michigan, which was maybe four years ago. Is that right? Around yeah, then, yeah. um, you know, we we came up to work with Brian Vander Ark, who oh, sure. is front man of the Verve Pipe. Yeah. Um, we connected with him on the road and he had us up to do a, a couple shows with him. And one of the times that we were up here, um, his wife Lux, was, who is also an amazing musician, she contacted Marianne. She was like, you know, these guys, they need some more gigs while they're up here. And she knew that Marianne had been doing house concerts and uh, she was like, maybe you can just squeeze them in. And Marianne's like, I don't want to. We've done too many already. <laughs> <laughs> just have one like, left. She's now. like, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> For you, Lux. Yeah. Yeah, take yeah. on these crazy Nashville Yeah, <laughs> so uh, that's how we connected with Marianne. And, then and she, re- yeah, uh, she put on an awesome house concert. Yeah. Yes, um, she does. Yeah, and now I think we've played at her house. I mean, how many times now? Like, yeah. I don't know. I think we're going to play lot. this afternoon just for fun. Which <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Jack was a whole different story. Jack and I both um, washed dishes at this restaurant. Oh, shut your mouth. He's making <laughs> <And we> hated, <laughs> Yeah, we would go back and, and we hated our jobs and we would uh, sit no. back there and uh, smoke <laughs> cigarettes and talk about how much we hated 
<laughs> yeah. uh, total fiction. It's, it's yeah. no, I can't get on any sort of microphone and not talk and, and joke about Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a, he's a superstar. He is, at, it's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, yeah. basically promoting and managing bands. He's I mean, the man. he, it's, he it's a really pure, it's has, a talent I'm yeah, gonna have he to does get have a talent. Him and Mary, we'll have them on, uh, Mary Ann, we'll have them on the show sometime. Yeah. Somehow we'll figure that out. So and, yeah, uh, we, we could not appreciate the two of them no, more because Lord. they really do yeah. a lot for the music community and, and they've yeah. done a lot for us in this community nice, too. So. Nice. And they, they, are uh, joining up with Walk the Beat. We're going to yes. partner up on some things. I'm very excited for the near future and Absolutely. the long time future. Yeah. I Absolutely. think there's a lot of good stuff going on. We better get to this last song. Let's do it. Hey, one more time though. How do we get a hold of you guys? Uh, just go to ChanningandQuinn.com. Uh, that's our website, but you can also find us on Facebook yeah. and all all that good stuff. So yeah, but we'll have a whole, whole nice, list nice. of shows and all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. What is the next thing that's coming up? I mean, not that, but I mean, I do have another, uh, I know I've got to so, get off track, but yeah. I mean, uh, do you have another Airstream tour or anything like that you set know, up? You know, we don't we... have a big tour set up, but we yeah. are releasing our album in April and nice. it's going to be on vinyl, oh, which is nice. really exciting. We've never done a, you know, a vinyl album before. Um, and it's all, you know, this is our first all Michigan made album all we right yeah. Good, yeah. For you. good for you we thank wrote, you we wrote all the music here we recorded it here and the name of the album is up north uh, nice yeah. nice i love yeah. michigan music and we're yeah. spreading it throughout the world Absolutely. i hope yeah. so love thank it. you for helping oh, us do it. Love, it. love it love it so, so blue we should get to this next song uh it is called temporary things i think the the title uh is just true yeah it is yeah. Everything, yeah. everything is temporary ab- yeah, absolutely yeah. you want to give us any insight on this one well, before we let it rip sure i mean we this one really is i don't know it's it's about trying to make your short temporary life mean something nice. um yeah because everything is temporary in life definitely so, yeah definitely well all right blue let's listen to temporary things by channing and quinn Decompose till all that's remaining is what lives on in people's memory. I'm afraid of temporary things. Yes, I'm afraid of temporary things. I could stand on sinking sand and let it swallow me. But if I want to live, I've got to keep moving Even the invincible will die Even the bravest man will cry But I'll remember you the way you are tonight And this will be The wild ones 
You are listening to Walk the Beat on WAWL 103.5. And we are back at the recording studio with Channing and Quinn. That beautiful song was Temporary Things. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank Man, you. you really do got a great voice. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I love it. Especially that one song when you just kept going and going. <laughs> You're going, oh, that's the end. Oh, she's oh. going back up a little bit more. She's Absolutely no, no. wonderful. Thank you. Absolutely. You know how many people want to be able to do that without cracking their voice, man? Like, oh. rah, rah, rah. You know, <laughs> well, you know some well, days. You should <laughs> hear the warm up she does in the car on the way to the gig. Uh, yeah, it's well, good quite for you. impressive. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, good for it's you. an instrument. People yeah. don't understand that there are warm ups. I actually uh, got a disc one time, the Zen of Screaming, you know, for those bands that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. How to do that without losing your voice. Yeah. Right. And it's all about the warm ups and stuff like that. I mean, you got to think of, you know, every night. I mean, yes. over and over again. Think about us if we just have a night where we talk a lot or we're at a party and you're kind of correct. Yelling, the next morning, your voice is out a little bit, you know. Yes. For a singer, I mean, that can't happen. Can't happen. <laughs> right. Know? And especially when you're first starting into this thing, right. your family's kind of like, come on, you're, right. no, you're no rock star. Yeah. I go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I can't talk today yeah, yeah exactly. you know you're nervous and uh, or i am anyhow I used to be nervous before a show and trying to make sure your voice is going to be okay right. because it really is quite incredible when you are just standing there and you decide you're going to sing a note it's got to come out yeah. it's got yeah absolutely and you just keep thinking every now and then you know it just might not yeah i know is that a nervous it's, a, yeah. it's the scariest thing ever i mean yeah. be, getting sick is literally the most terrifying all oh, right thing i know <laughs> somebody me. today that had to uh cancel yeah. the show right. she's sick you know and you hate to do hate that it. man you want you know you've already lined everything is done you've done all of the right. practice you've got it all lined up you've got all the instruments we're yeah. ready yeah. Blah, 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 yeah. Not. that's that's why it can never understand it's like you know we're playing all the time she's she's warming up we we eat healthy she exercises it's vitamin uh, c it's right. you know gargling and all this stuff i'm like how in the world did all these musicians do like heroin <laughs> <laughs> yeah no doubt like, how do you get time how, how are you able to <laughs> yeah. still do that <laughs> like insane. who knows you yeah. know and that's one thing um uh you don't most of the musicians that i see they aren't they aren't partying. Yeah, they are working yeah, on it's hard their work. craft. Yeah, absolutely. They don't have time to be. That's when you've made it, I guess, and yeah. everybody else takes care of everything uh, yeah. else for you. Right. Yeah. And everybody's going, oh, sure, I got it, I got it, I got right. it, I got exactly. it. Exactly, yeah. Other than that, before you get there, <laughs> yeah. first of all, you don't have the money. <laughs> yeah, right. exactly. And you don't have the time. Yeah, so, no way. and no I'm way. glad that um, you haven't gone down any of that <laughs> yeah, path yeah. yet. I know you're becoming superstars. <laughs> well, you yeah. Know. So, yeah, it's hang on to your roots, all man. Over, yeah. <laughs> It down. <laughs> Good for you too. Hey, uh, w- well, uh, I just wanted to say thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you for and, having us and sharing time with us and our community. And thank you for all the things that you've been doing and going to do and all the music that you're sharing. Well, yeah, we're no. excited and we're excited to be a part of this community because there's a lot going on. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I, I kind of joke around. So I'm like, I'm not really sure why we moved to Grand Rapids. Uh, we seem to have a lot that we do in Grand Haven. Right. So. You know, we have our own Walk the Beat event. It's, uh, it's yeah, like Art Prize. Excited, it is. So uh, that's a good gig too, man. Absolutely. We have a ride for, and you get paid for ours. Yes, yeah. I know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Isn't it amazing? It is amazing. It is. Like real, real money. Right? Real cash. Cash, saying, cashola. Yeah. Well, it comes in a check form. <laughs> Got to get into this. Uh, so, anyway, I want to say thanks to Blue Van Dyke as always for taking care of the sound. Dave Darling for our video. Of course, Jack and Marianne that came in today to uh, for hooking us up with you guys. Yes. And of course, Channing and Quinn, thank you very much. And remember, everybody, listen local. The Walk the Beat radio show is recorded in Grand Haven, Michigan. Production and engineering provided by Blue Van Dyke. Featuring your host, Dave Palmer.